Hey Jelly Beans, how everyone doing? I wanted to come back on and get started with this process. So I'm gonna just sit y'all down right quick. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I just put a little bit of water in here and that's just to um, melt it down some. So this is my sea moss right here. So I'm gonna scoop some out. And it was different, I'll talk to y'all about that as I'm doing this, let me see. I already hit my spoon. Let me take all of these off. Okay. That'll be even better. Okay, so I got my spoon. And I'm going to just put some in here. Alright, so turn the stove on. And once again, I'm just uh, getting this melted back down. And this is uh, let me turn this heat down some because I don't want it to cook. Um, this is one third cup that I'm using. So y'all can kind of see what I'm doing here. See, I just want this consistency. I just wanted to warm up and melt down. And everybody have their own way on there of how they make their own hair gel. So I'm pretty much gonna make mine like I did my um moringa hair um oil. Well, but that was the oil. This gonna be a gel so that's good enough for me like I said I just wanted to um, loosen up like this and let me move this out the way can move that over there So, and it's just, it, it ain't even um, hot, hot. So that's good. That's how I wanted it. Ugh. I gotta get. Come on, thing. Sorry, guys. I'm sitting down for this one because I'm gonna be doing the, um, a number of things. So yeah, y'all can see what I'm doing. Yeah. <coughs> I'm trying to get something that'll something in my throat. Jesus. Anyway, I can't get nothing to hold that up. But I found a jar. And this is what I'm going to be using. My wide mouth jar. This had my dehydrated um, mushrooms in. And I'm going to put these in here because um, I am going to make me some <coughs> mushroom powder. That's what I'm going to turn this into. Where's my... Oh, let me drink some water, guys. That was so refreshing. Okay, so let's get started. Different ways, and a lot of people did theirs different, you know, was doing theirs, um, putting different things into theirs. Some people got their own um, mixture of natural hair care product, 
and they they use that to mix with their um with their um sea <coughs> moss gel. I don't know why I get on camera and all of a sudden my throat acts stupid. <coughs> But yeah, so, and then some people mixes it and they add in, um, <clears throat> what you call it? They add in, um, essential oils. I'm not going to add in no essential oils in mine. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pour this in here, just like so. I want to make sure I get all of this out. Alright, so then next I'm gonna take my um my coconut oil and this is uh natural organic this is organic coconut oil and I'm gonna put the same amount of coconut oil that I did the um sea moss I'm going to pour that into here. And then I'm going to put in, um, I'm going to put in avocado oil. And I had just bought some more avocado oil because y'all saw when I ran out. How come this thing don't want, it's not opening? Oh God, I'm gonna have to get this knife and um, do this. I don't know why the, the seal ain't cracking on it. I swear it don't seem like nothing's going right. Wait a minute. This thing is not opening up. Oh. There you go. Popped out on me. Anyway, um, all right, now I'm going to pour the same amount of avocado oil that I did. Oh, I'm making a mess. Oh, uh, it was just a little bit. And I'm going to pour that right in there. I'll figure this out after I finish with you guys. Honey, yeah. can you, um, oh, never mind, never mind. Don't worry about it. Oh. All right, so I'm going to put this in here. And some people do put um essential oils in there. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just all over the place. And I wanted to be as set up as possible when I came on. Wait a I'm sorry guys, I had to go and I had to um, move this fan up because I was getting hot. Alright, yeah. So a lot of people 
they be putting um what you call it um essential oils in there like I um I noticed a lot of people they was putting the mint in there because they say give it the the mint essential oils give it the tingling sensation um like the the lavender essential oil but I'm not gonna um I'm not gonna add no citrus on to mine I'm just going all natural with the avocado the coconut oil and the um sea moss. And some people just mix theirs up, like by hand in a bowl. And with me, I want to put mine in here because I want it to be infused together very well. And I did come across one girl that did hers that way too. She, she, she put hers in, the, uh, in her blender. And so I think this is... Yeah, this should be infused very well. Alright, so. I thought I was going to have more than this that I made up. But I was trying to be safe with it and, you know, not over make a whole lot. But at least I still got some in there. And this is how it's looking. So it seemed to be blend it up very well hopefully I infused it oh it smells good too I like that coconut <laughs> that coconut smell good up in there all right so this is how much I got and this is my wide mouth uh jaw so I got like a half a jaw and um yeah so take this put this on there that on there and I'm gonna just let it sit and um well put it in the refrigerator I did see girl put in the refrigerator but you could use it right now like this in this gel form or you can keep it you could keep it in this form if you choose to or if you want to like and let it like get solid up overnight or the seal whatever but being it so I had the gel sea moss in it I'm gonna sit in the refrigerator and let it get a little solid consistency and use it as a hair grease so that's what I'm gonna do with mine And um, and for my little hair spray bottle, I do want to make me some um. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let me go ahead and put um. Get my other little jar that I'm gonna be using for my face. Wait a minute. That's what I suppose to be starting off with jelly beans. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this since I already had this sitting out and it's not as cold as um, it's not as cold as So I'm going to just pour some, put some in here. Because that's all I need is a little bit of that. For my face, and I'm about to rub this right on my face. Pop Pop, my kids. Pop Pop used his. I talked to him tonight. He used his for, um, he been putting his in his coffee. So he started yesterday, last night, 
he put some in his coffee. Uh, he used some earlier today, and tonight he had put some in his coffee again. So he he gonna be putting. In, he said it don't have no taste or anything. I said I told you. So I'm happy about that. He's really using his. So yeah, let me go ahead on and um, let me rest this spoon off. So I'm just gonna stir this up, try to get it not to be as cold. <laughs> Not to, to try to get it not to be as chilly. So, oh, it's cold. It is cold. Put that in there until I wash that. So, yeah. And I'm going to just be applying this on my face while I could be telling y'all. I found out some of the... um benefits from it it's a lot more and i'm just doing just like this guys just like i saw them on there and one lady helped her act me real good and she's been using it for years she's a natural um woman i think she lives over in uh jamaica and you just put it on just like so yeah but the natural benefits and oh and one thing i want to say is about uh sea moss you can intake as much as this as you want so if you want it in everything you eat and drink, you could definitely do that. And um, yeah, so it helps with digestive system. It helps really good with your digestive system, which I think I had said that when I first was talking about it. I was scared to put it on my nose because it was cold. Um it's good for your colon. It cleans your colon. It's very good for, um, yeah, digestive system. Your colon um, is rich in is rich in vitamins and minerals. And one thing I do want to say that I have uh, found out too is that you know how they say you have a hundred. It's a hundred and a hundred and two minerals that your body need. Well, the gold sea moss have ninety two minerals in it that your body need. The purple sea moss has a um, hundred minerals in it that your body needs. And anything I'm talking about, y'all can easily just go and Google on YouTube about um, the benefits from using uh, sea moss. And it'll tell you everything. So I just, I'm just putting it all over my face, just like so. Even on my eyebrows, because I told y'all I want them to grow back. I'm going to just leave it like that. That's how I saw them do it. <laughs> so, yeah. And it's good for muscle and joint pain. I told you guys that. How, um... Oh, don't have no taste. I told you guys, um... That it helped with, uh... Yeah, like I say, muscle and joint pain and stuff. And I was telling you guys how I noticed that... My back and stuff wasn't hurting, you know, when I was out and stuff yesterday, out and about. So, yeah. Um, skin care. It helps with your skin care. It also it helps with, um, like, acne, eczema, which I have, like, on my arm, on my arm and stuff. Um, and up my arm and across my back. So, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to get honey to wipe some on that and let that sit. And stuff, and then I'ma take my um shower tonight. So yeah. But um, yeah, it helps with that. It helps lighten up the scars and and, and everything. And um, yeah. So it's good. It's really good for skincare and your hair hair care and stuff. Um, weight loss. It's good for weight loss. It um helps keeps you satisfied and helps you you know to stay feeling you know full and it also takes away um it's something in it that helps with the cravings of sugar and um like fried food fatty foods and stuff so yeah everything i'm talking about guys just look it up and you'll see the stuff that um you know what i'm talking about and you might even find um it's a lot of other stuff it's it's a lot more benefits that it had helped with but um yeah, so weight loss, quick digestive uh, system, um, 
It helps with your digestive system, uh, period. It help and um it also helps with your gut cleansing and stuff, like I said, your colon, mental function. People that have like mental um uh, like say bipolar disorder or um what is it? I think it was mostly talking about like people with bipolar disorder disorder and stuff like that or some type of mental anything, you know, stress stress uh relief, stuff like that, depression, stuff like that. It helps with that. It's something in it and the minerals and stuff in it that helps um with your brain with your brain cells. So you can look that up also. Natural um decongestion, like I said, it's easy to uh digest it and stuff and it's good with your uh digestive system. And another thing I noticed that um uh, and it talked about it here too, it helps with mucus. I had a bad problem with um with mucus and like and sometimes when I'm sleeping stuff I get the coughing and choking because I hear all that phlegm and mucus and stuff like up in my chest I notice um I haven't been like <clears throat> doing all that um for the last two days I didn't do it last night or like if I go to sleep or something it's a little teeny bit there but not like it was that's something I left out too but I had remembered it when um after I already finished vlogging. And um. <coughs> see. That's just a little bit. Usually be a whole bunch. That be like stuck up in there. But it's going away. And like I say. Any progress that comes with it. I'm going to let you guys know. Um. Oh I talked about suppressed appetite. Yeah it suppresses your appetite. Like I said for the, the sugary cravings. And the um. The sugary cravings and stuff like that and fried food stuff like that suppresses your appetite and it suppresses you, you know, from uh, wanting to eat and snack and stuff like that. So, yeah. I can feel this getting tight, a little tight on my face too. Um, oh, it helps with anemia. If you're anemic, it helps with that. It, it's, it's, um, it helps with that too. Uh, treats wound, <laughs> yeah, and um, it treats it's good for wounds and stuff like that. So it's the it strengthens your um, what is it um, the elasticity uh in your body the um, you know what I'm saying the huh, what is it like when the older you get the more of it you lose and um like when you had a saggy skin and stuff like that it strengthens that and stuff and that is what. What helps like heal wounds quicker, but the older you get, you lose that. That helps with that, it rebuilds that. Um, a natural painkiller, and again, with the joints, aches, and pains. Uh, it treats thyroid disorder, it helps with anybody that's um having problems with your thyroids and stuff like that. It um, it helps with that, and it helps keep them from being like inflamed or like I mean, not inflamed, like flaring up and stuff. So it, it, it helps with thyroid disorder. Um, it also, also says something about herpes. It said it helps with um, herpes. Um, anybody that have like uh, herpes disease or cold, it say cold sores and stuff too. Um, it supports healthy hearts. So it's good for your heart. It helps your heart um, have that, you know, the flow. And everybody know I definitely need that because I have heart disease. I have heart problems. But it supports... Um, you know, for a healthy heart, for a healthier heart. Diabetes, it helps with diabetes. And I was telling y'all, the lady in the store, she, um, she, what was she, it was something that it helped her with. I gotta look back, but you can look at the video what I was talking about that, when me and the kids was in the, the store. But it was the next video after that. It helped her with a lot of stuff. She was real sickly and stuff. High cholesterol. That's what it took away her high cholesterol. She was on high cholesterol, and she also was on, um, blood pressure medicine and she gradually her doctor gradually uh took her off of that um yeah lower cholesterol i talked about that hair growth <laughs> whether you um uh intaking it by mouth or like the hair gel that i made you can make dip you can make um hair products with it mix it in or you can even just take this and like uh 
put it in your hair and let it sit. I've seen people like put it just like this in their hair and tie a plastic bag over even like a shower cap and just let it sit and um they let it sit and soak up for like a half an hour 30 minutes and then go ahead and wash it out their hair so you could do that too it's different ways it's different uses to this <clears throat> it gives you energy yes it do i have noticed i've been like i told y'all um earlier i've been uh, i could notice that i have a lot more i have more energy than what I regularly was having so I do can tell I can tell the change of my energy I can also tell that <clears throat> excuse me that's because this is coming up and I need to spit it out but I'm not doing all that on camera then I gotta get up move over there to the trash can okay so that covers that and like I said that was like 19 different things or 18 different things but like I said it's a lot more that it do you can do your research on it I just wanted to give y'all some of the stuff that um, I've been finding. Of course, I couldn't write everything down because it's a whole bunch of stuff. But these are things that a lot of people have been putting it in. And like I say, I put mine in my smoothies. They put it in soups, stews. Um, I saw a lady, uh, salad dressing. They make, they make, they homemade salad dressing. Drop some of that in there, blend it up, and put it on your food. I also seen um, a lot, a couple of people, um, taking the sea moss like once it come from its dehydrated form before you blend it they cut little pieces up and mix it up in that salad and ate it along with their you know any type of salad garden salad whether it's a cucumber and potato tomato uh, salad whatever yeah so garden salads and stuff like that they just chop the things off and put it right in there you can do that too and like I said you can add it in your salad dressing homemade nut and seed milk I've seen um, a lot of um a lot of vegan people been um, incorporating this into their homemade like um, nut nut butter or um, seed seed milk. They added in that. They've been incorporating this into it. The sea moss gel, um, raw desserts, raw desserts, and that like uh, pudding or something. If you eating on a pudding or something like that, you know any raw type of dessert, you can mix it up, mix it up in there. Any type of dessert. You could put it up in there. Even if you baking a dessert, you could put it in there. Um, nut cheese. I saw, like, again, vegan people. I saw this lady, um, and even if you just have, a um, can't eat cheese or, or dairy products, when you making your, um, um, vegan cheese, yeah, vegan nut cheese, you can incorporate that in there. Lady, she got a, uh, um, she have a video up with that, with how she made her, her cheese. Um, chocolate. When you're making your own homemade chocolate bars and stuff like that, you incorporate that. You incorporate it in anything. Salads, I said that. So that's just a few things that um, I came across people was doing. But, I mean, this stuff is versatile. I don't know if y'all can see how my face is hot. No, y'all can't see it yet. But this side, maybe because the fan, you see it a little bit? Yeah. This side, I like it. See, the fan is right here. So that's why it's drying this side. Drying that side. But anyway, my face feel tight. But I heard that if it come off, it be nice and um, your face be nice and smooth. It rejuvenates your skin. The lady cheek was like jiggling. <laughs> it was more jiggly, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to just let y'all know the things I'm going to be doing. And like I say, make sure you um, definitely make sure you talk to your doctor about this. And mine's already know. I already asked and inquired about it. So it's fine. But, um. Yeah, like anything, consult with your doctor about it. So, yeah, so it's different ways. Y'all going to be seeing me incorporate mine different ways and how I'm using it and stuff like that. So, yeah, just coming along for my journey and we shall see. <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog, Jelly Beans. I'm about to sit and I'm about to um grind this down, get my grinder out, grind this down. I'm about to make me some... um. <clears throat> some powdered mushroom that's it i've been having so it'd be easy to incorporate into my food because i had to take it out it's uh container that it was in <laughs> so which that's what i was wanted to do with this batch anyway so that's why i had um had that and um uh, had this little bit in that jar so yeah i'll be doing that and i hope y'all enjoyed this video jelly beans and tell your family friends and loved ones about hanging with the bogeas I love you guys. I gotta go. Good night.
goodbye. See you on the next clip.